Hi there, it's Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul from eBay. <sighs> I miss being able to go to the flea markets and buy all the weird stuff in addition to the jewelry, but uh, it is nice to have some jewelry. So, um, this is the box. I haven't yet unpacked it, but I'm going to go ahead and unpack it and go through it first. So that I don't have to spend a lot of video time peering at it and wondering what it is because I know that really slows things down and some people don't like that. So, um, I will be back in just a moment to show you the goods. Okay, so I have uh, opened the box and gone through everything. It is a, an, a mostly earring lot. It's almost all sterling silver and turquoise and there's a little bit of coral and a couple of pieces that are questionable as to whether they are silver or not, but most of it's silver and it's very nice. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for this lot, but I think it was around $50. Um, so I'll start with what I think is the nicest piece that it came, and that's this turquoise and sterling bracelet. This is uh, probably Navajo. It is signed with a pictogram. I will like a little pinwheel, so um, I'll see if I can figure out who that is. I haven't, I haven't done deep research yet. I've just looked briefly at the marks. Uh, and then we have a couple of watch bands. Okay, sorry, I had to change my batteries. Um, so we were looking at this first watch. It's a very tiny size, but it fits me. It's so tempting to keep it. It's a nice uh, turquoise and coral and sterling silver. It is, I'm sure, Native American. And they included a little, I'm showing it to you upside down, a little Seiko watch, which doesn't go at all because it's gold. <laughs> so I'll probably, I don't think a Seiko watch is worth much, but maybe, maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, I may take that off and maybe I have another watch that would look better. I don't know. And then we have this one, um, that's also a turquoise, turquoise and coral, I'm sure it's Navajo, uh, unsigned and it looks pretty old though and this, the stretch part, it does work, but as you can see it's just a little bit wonky, but it does, it does work. Then we got a couple of stick pens. Um, this one is uh, maybe a Thunderbird, I think. And that's going to be Zuni, I think. And then uh, this one, I'm not quite sure what that stone is, but I think it may be just glass, but it is in sterling silver. It looks pretty old. There are, uh, There's not a... Um, and part on this one, but it's very pretty. I forgot to look. I don't think there's a mark on this one, but it does look like it's silver. Oh, and I forgot to mention that, um, which one? The band. The band on this one is gold filled. Yeah. So, the, the stretchy part. Okay. Uh, then we have a tie tack that's also in Navajo. Sterling silver and turquoise. It has a patent number on it, um, which I think dates it to the mid-century era, but no, uh, it's not, no signature. Uh, this is a little uh, tie tack again of a Thunderbird. This isn't a Thunderbird, maybe it's a, it's a bird. <coughs> Shoot. Hate it when I do that. Okay. Anyway, cute little Thunderbird. Uh, we have some rings. Uh, this one is one of the few pieces that's not sterling silver. It's copper with turquoise and a bear claw shadow box style. And it is signed. Oh, you know what? It says it's 925. Isn't that interesting? 
Looks very copper to me. Does not look 925 to me. That's interesting. And it's signed CU and then RB inside a bear. Well, that's very strange because that's definitely not silver. Maybe it was maybe it was silver plated at one time. I don't know. <laughs> it's very odd. But it's pretty. Uh, then this is um, chip turquoise and uh, chip coral, little birds, and that's a Navajo, and that is not signed. And we have uh, another chip turquoise, a turtle ring, pretty heavy one. It's very cute, and uh, this one is also not signed, I don't believe. And then we have three pins. We have the little coyote. He's very cute. Um, just says uh, Sterling, I believe. And we have a little road runner. And these are all going to be Native American. This one's just marked 925. And then another little road runner. And he is, uh, does not appear to be marked. Okay, then everything else I have is earrings. There's some wire earrings, some post earrings, some screw back earrings, just a little bit of everything. So, um, these ones are screw back with sterling silver and turquoise. And these are signed, just, not signed, but they are marked sterling. Here's some little studs. These are very small, but they're very nicely made. Obviously, sterling and turquoise. I didn't look to see if they were signed, but they're so tiny. I don't think they're signed. It looks like there's something there, but I don't know what. It's too tiny. <laughs> um, okay, then we have some Dreamcatcher earrings, and these uh, need wires, but I have some sterling silver wires, so I can fix that. There are some more screw backs. And uh, <laughs> these say sterling. They have Somebody wrote 19 in like magic marker on the back of them. And these are stud earrings. The turquoise, um, not the two earrings don't match all that well, but I guess that's okay. And these say 95 and they have the uh, pinwheel on them. These are butterflies, chip turquoise and chip coral. Uh, <laughs> here marked AWR on the back with a marker and um, no, let's see, what is that? Is that a mark? There might be a mark on there, but I can't really read it. Screw back, little dangles this time. And these are marked sterling. I don't see any other mark on there. Those are an interesting motif, though, a little bit different. And we have some wires.
interesting color on that. Those are, um, you know, those are um, not turquoise. They're uh, that stone that's a mixture of lapis and malachite, I think. Um, oh, these are signed 925BA. Those are beautiful stones. Uh, and we have some little dangles, which I think that these are strictly costume. I think they're just beads. Uh, it might be turquoise, but I don't think so. Oops. And here are just some plain turquoise dangles. But they're nice big stones, and they're really pretty turquoise. And uh, the ear wires are marked 95. And we have these bears. They're bear, bear dangles with feathers. And I have a... Well, I can't really say. I'm thinking that these are going to turn out to not be silver. They just don't look quite right to me. They're too shiny. But I could be wrong. I'll test them. But they are very cute. Maybe yeah, I could put those and those bead dangles together and sell them a lot. Uh... Some more post earrings. These are quite nice. These are some coral. Sterling silver with little dangles on them. And they're studs and uh, you know, they're just very nice. Uh, and, oh, and these are signed, but the, it's really, really tiny. I'm going to have to get out my loop and figure out what it is. And finally, one more pair. These are little post earrings that are dangles with turquoise and feathers. So I, I think it's a nice little assortment. I'll be able to sell most of these things at very reasonable prices. Um, sometimes the watch bands can command quite a bit. These are, they're, they're nice. They really are very nice. And this is my favorite piece. I just love this bracelet. So tempted to keep it. Alright, that's it. Thanks so much for watching these items. Probably by the time you watch this video, most of them will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I do these haul videos whenever I can, and I do vlog videos once a week where I show what my um, what's going on, what I'm selling, what I'm listing, what I'm eating, where I'm going, which is not very far these days. <laughs> uh, but anyway, and uh, comment, and that's it. So we'll see you again soon. Bye.